The next topic for discussion in the skeletal system are the types of movements. All movements begin in anatomical position. Remember, anatomical position is standing erect with your eyes facing forward, your toes forward, and your palms facing forward. When describing movements, we talk about what planes are these movements parallel to. And there are three planes in the human body. So recall, one plane is called the sagittal plane, another plane is called the frontal plane, and the third plane is called the transverse plane. The first set of movements that we'll discuss are the movements that are parallel to the sagittal plane. The way that we describe movements in the sagittal plane is by looking at the joint angle. The straight white line that you see represents 180 degrees. Movements from 180 degrees to zero is called flexion. Movements from zero degrees to 180 is called extension. And finally, movements greater than 180 degrees is called hyperextension. There are two special movements that occur in the sagittal plane that occur in the ankle. They are called dorsiflexion, which is pulling your toes toward your knees, and plantar flexion, which is pointing your toes away from your knees. The next type of movements are movements that are parallel to the frontal plane. Again, beginning in anatomical position, movements of the frontal plane include abduction and adduction. In abduction, you are moving your appendage away from the midline of your body, and in adduction, you are moving your appendage towards the midline of your body. Again, there are two special frontal plane movements that occur at the ankle. These movements are called inversion and eversion. Inversion is when the sole of your foot points toward the midline of your body, and eversion is where the sole of your foot points away from the midline of your body. Movements that are parallel in the transverse plane are called rotations. So a rotation that occurs within the axial skeleton, we just call a rotation. Any type of rotation that occurs in the appendage is either medial or lateral rotation. In medial rotation, the appendage is rotated toward the midline of the body, whereas in lateral rotation, the appendage is rotated away from the midline of the body. In the forearm, there's a special name for medial and lateral rotation. These terms are called pronation and supination. So in pronation is the motion of pouring. So if your palm is face up, when you turn your palm face down, that is pronation. In supination, your palm is face down and you turn your palm face up. And finally, there are special movements that occur in multiple planes. For example, circumduction. Circumduction is a conical movement or a circular movement that occurs in different planes. An example of circumduction would be the motion of pitching a baseball.